Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I was hunting for a dark Venusaur, not standing in that place the whole time. <laughs> I just wanted to start there as long as I needed to explain that sort of thing. Because <laughs> he has a ride back and everything like that. The other reasons is because I wanted to explain what I'm going to be doing this part. One of them is going over to the Pokemon Dome to see some extra dialogue and some hints as to what we could unlock. And another is we're going to head on over to the Mason Laboratory for the challenge machine. So about that dude dialogue here. Thanks to you, Mint, Team GR is finally acting good. Pokemon cards have since been freely distributed all over the place. <laughs> Thanks much, Mint. Even we, the Grandmasters, will not be defeated by Team GR now. This whole series of events has made us love our Pokemon cards even more. Oh, <laughs> except, oh, oops, except that. We accept all challenges as long as they share that passion. And yeah, you're next. Hey, Mint, congratulations! I'm sure you're aware that Team GR is all about love and peace now. That being the case, let's all enjoy our Pokemon cards. Hey, Mint, you having fun with your cards? I'm preparing my cards for the big Grandmaster Cup we're having soon. Grandmaster Cup, you say? Mmm! Make sure you stop by and enter the cup, alright? Hmm, how do we get a Grandmaster Cup to appear here? Well, this is a surprise. Hello, Mint! The GR King has been persuaded at long last to renounce his evil ways. However, this does not mean we'll never hear from Team GR again. Gorgeous battles are possible with opponents from all walks of life. I think everyone has learned this lesson, thanks to you, Mint. Speak with our leader, Rod, if you'd like to have a gorgeous battle. He's in charge of announcing our stunning Grandmaster Cup. In any case, my friend, I hope you have a good day. You too. Rob. You have my earnest thanks, Mint. Your bravery and Villasini's will to accept his mistakes open our eyes. Everyone who loves Pokemon cards is a friend to us. This is a sincere moral we've all learned from our bouts with Team GR. No matter what, just keep that love and tolerance in your hearts. You should battle everyone you can, club members and Team GR alike. If you want a duel, a good place to start is the local battle center. That's the multiplayer battling function dealio at those counters that I never talk to because they have the same dialogue. That's a good step toward earning new cards. <sighs> new cards. New cards you don't own yet. So he was hinting, well, sort of hinting, <laughs> that if you do a bunch of battles at the battle center with buds, ten of them to be precise, I think you have to win ten actually, but yeah, if you do ten of them, you'll be able to unlock the Grandmaster Cup at this place here. So I'll see if I can get that set up in the emulator. You know, it's just like setting up the, like, I don't know, two really easy decks. It's like, I mean, I'll have a deck with one Magikarp and then the rest full of Lightning Pokemon or something like that to just quickly wipe it, you know? <laughs> if I can set that up. Hopefully I'll be able to. But the main portion of this part here, as I mentioned, is gonna be this. The challenge machine. This thing has been sitting here, taunting us for the longest time, and interestingly, Mason only has a one win streak. <laughs> you think you'd think with him being like the card professor, he'd have a lot of knowledge on deck building and the combos and ideas on how to put things together, but no! Maybe his luck is just that bad. I don't know. <laughs> what if we say no? Well, we're not going to get any new dialogue, because this is a machine, not a human, so let's play the challenge machine. And the game's opponents are listed above, so the first three are generally club members, for the fourth is generally a club master, and the fifth is generally someone special. In this case, it's a grandmaster, but it could be someone like Imakuni, Ronald, Tech Aaron, you know? <laughs> Something like that, those sorts of special battles that you unlock over time, and yeah. So, now as I mentioned before with this game, you cannot save between battles until you pass the fifth one. Well, I should say you win the fifth one, so let's go. Hopefully, we can do this, because we need a 50 streak. Yes, 5-0 streak. <laughs> that makes me wonder if I should actually do all the battles that I'm going to do, do with this on camera, just to unlock that coin, because... Really, we've battled all these guys before, it's just... That's a lot of battles, even... <laughs> even if I did five per part, you know, to... To set up the divisions of... You know, each time that I'm able to save and stuff like that, that's still... 
have <laughs> 10 parts per challenge to see, because there's still this one and uh, the one over at the GR challenge hall, so... <laughs> I'll, I'll have to think about that. I mean, yeah, it is it is definitely something different because the, uh, the the requirements are different compared to other challenges in the game. Since you can't save whenever you want to between battles and stuff like that, so you can't totally save Skullmet. So there is that sort of challenge as well, and unfortunately Bulbasaur stays asleep. But it doesn't much matter that much because we have an Ivysaur. <laughs> And I might as well Leech Seed that Lapras, and we'll Razor Leaf on the next turn. I don't really have the uh, the capabilities to have another bench Pokemon right now. I, I probably should actually tweak my Stoop Dog deck a little bit to, uh, oh there we go, to uh, make it more consistent than it is, especially since I'm going to be doing Challenge Machine stuff like this. Uh, but well. I'm, I'm, I'll probably be fine with this for now. Uh, I just... Pro oh, I forgot the Razor Leaf. Well... <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking mainly for speed of winning games, rather than holding back just to show you opponent's deck, since, as I said, we already beat all these guys before, so... I don't really have to give you a full rundown of their decks, it's just a matter of wiping them all out, you know? <laughs> So I figured, if I can beat them as fast as I possibly can, maybe I'll be able to get all the duels on camera, or s something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that, anyway. Yeah, I figured you would surf. Hopefully, my Ivysaur will be okay, though. Um, I guess I should Vine Whip? I, I did it again! Mm! <laughs> well, at least I healed the damage counter, but still, that's, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do as much damage as Squirtle as I, I mean, War Turtle as I wanted to with my Ivysaur then. Uh, poopers, well, I, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I still have Scythe there on backup, but that was clearly a misplay as I'm trying to speedrun this. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, sure, sure, I still need... I still needed to power up Scyther in general, but I could have did that on this turn, you know? So it was an inefficient move. Slash. And there goes the War Turtle. Please give me a basic Pokemon. Thank you. <laughs> You've heard my prayers, Arceus. Ooh, that uh, Horsey is their last critter there. Would be a shame if I were to knock that out very quickly. Um, I don't think Horsey's got... Yeah, well, it, it does have that, but I mean... I might want to go for the Swords Dance. No, I'll go for the Slash, because if she actually manages to be smart enough to use the Hide, that will just be Swords Dancing all day, possibly because of how a luck of computers can be, so... <laughs> and Slash. So there is our victory. Four more to go before we can save. Oh, there's a chancy. Woo! Happy days! Let's keep going. Defeated Sarah! Yeah, Joshua! Wait, didn't... Aren't you the one that I ended up beating very quickly, very easily, like, multiple times, very rapidly? Hmm. Oh, you might be able to beat me this time. I've only got a Rattata. <laughs> well... Well, I mean, sure, it's a nice beatdown card, but only when supported by other stuff, and... <laughs> <laughs> it's got a lot of HP, that seal, and I'm also not going first, so... Yeah, I better get something good with that bill. Eh, we'll see how things turn out. Might be able to, uh, actually... Ooh, two bills! He might actually be able to get a win off me this time. Let's first use our bills before we use any Pokémon traders. Uh, I guess I'll stall out the seal. Just kind of mess with them a little bit. And now I just I'm thinking about who I should trade. Like, do I want to just go straight into an Ivysaur? Like, I put Bulbasaur and then trade Chansey at the Ivysaur, or do I want to go for a Scyther because I have the double colorless energy? I'm thinking I should have Chansey as the stall just in case, and then trade the Bulbasaur for the Scyther. Probably. That's probably my best bet. So I'm just gonna go with what we know. 
We can- well, that's right. <laughs> We're gonna go with what we know we can do, basically. And call it a turn, and then I'll be able to power up Scyther to 30 damage on the next turn with double colorless energy. Uh, well, I should say two turns, excuse me, when uh, Rotata gets knocked out. So I'm gonna go plop that on there, and attack with the bites. So just kind of nicking away at that seal while it nicks away at us. It's kind of funny. We have 30 HP, it has 60, we do 20, it does 10. So... <laughs> So he'd both damage each other at the exact same rate, basically. Uh, well, except for that potion, you know, the potion kind of kind of threw a monkey wrench in that, but that's <laughs> that's all right. All right, here, here's the slash. So we can't get the knockout on the seal as early as expected, but at least we got a nice strong critter out there, just fluttering away, just cutting up the opponent's cards like a paper shredder, and. Let's see what we can do with what we have. I'll save that Venonath in case of a Pokemon Trader. And slash the seal. Here we go. Ivysaur. I'll sure not get the Ivysaur. Now I do. I, I mean, I thought about trading it earlier, but eh. eh. Yeah, you can't star freeze, can ya? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do that for the future. And slash. So his best bet now is probably to go for the Star Freeze, like Infinite Star Freeze. Be oh, no. Real oh, you're not even going to try to recover? Interesting. Maybe the AI doesn't know how to pull that off. <laughs> right, I'm going to put that on there. And... Do I want to put that on there now or save it for a Bulbasaur trade? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just going to slash. As I said, I'm trying to speedrun this here. <laughs> Trying to go through the opponents as quickly as possible for the sake of beating 50 opponents straight. <laughs> like I said, I don't really know I want to show that all on camera. In fact, I kind of probably really don't even need to. I could probably just show you a picture of the coin as well. That would probably be sufficient enough because all you do is get a coin to flip at the end of it anyway. But you know, for the sake of 100%, I kind of feel I should at least show you this machine once. At the very least, you know what I mean? Um, mm, I'm thinking... Uh, I'll, I'll hold on to it. I was thinking I should put the Rattata on the bench because of the Super Fang, but I don't think he's going to get anything with that like too high of HP to really take advantage of Super Fang, you know? And, at, and with Rotata having such low HP, it's kind of kind of iffy in the later game, you know? Uh, and yeah, I should probably focus on powering up that in general, too. Um, if I get a Gust of Wind, I could just wipe out the Magikarp. I got the Myraticate, though. Um, but yeah, that Magikarp has got 30 HP, so... Well, I guess Krabby does as well. I, I, I mean, it will have that as well, except for the Call of Family, Call for Family dealio, but yeah. I guess he's just gonna end up stalling me with a bunch of switches. But it's probably not gonna be that effective, especially since I could attempt to power up Chansey and then just outright double edge whatever he's got into Oblivion. So. I think that is what I. Okay, he's got Switch. That's so what I was gonna say. Okay, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Especially since I got double colorless energy coming in, in there, so... Well, he might be able to slap away my Scyther. Although, it's, uh, it's not gonna go well for him, because if he doesn't switch uh, his Staryu, I'm just gonna knock out Staryu with whatever I have powered up, basically. And there we go. You get your water, put that on the Krabby... Oh, man, you're, you are doing the slap! Oh, no! I would consider that to be an AI mistake. Alright, just for fun. I'm putting out Chansey. Double colorless energy, double it! <laughs> Doesn't matter what I use, really, it's just I just do that for fun. <laughs> I said I had, I had that coming! And I wasn't gonna use it! Alright, there goes Joshua. Stephanie is up next. Are you ready? I am ready. I kind of have to be. <laughs> this is no saving, so just keep on going. It's, and you know, especially when you have battery power for your Game Boy, that could be kind of, kind of a interesting little. <laughs> anyway, 
anyway. Uh... Ooh. Hmm... I see potential here in the Radicates. And I'll go for prize cards, of course! And we go first, too! Very nice. So we are, of course, going to put the Recycle Energy on the Rattata, put another Venonath on there, and bite that Gastly! Might actually be able to win this, like, instantly, because she doesn't have any more bench Pokémon. Oh! She might now! Uh, I shouldn't say any more bench Pokémon, she didn't get any bench Pokémon. Oh! Nope, that is, uh, that's game over! <laughs> I might as well even do that, and I might as well do that, and I might as well do that, and bite. <laughs> so yeah, that was a nice quick battle there. <laughs> See, now if I was holding back, I would be like, okay, I'm just gonna wait a couple turns, see what she does with her deck, but no! We wiped her before, we need to wipe her nice and quick. Alright, so Ken could be a little bit of a hiccup for our deck, because he uses fire and we use grass, but we'll see how things go, because we have colorless stuff as well. Uh, that's probably what I should lead with. Well, I've got the Raticate going there, and maybe I can get some Ivysaur beatdown tactics going on as well. Maybe even go up to... Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, yo, whoa! What are you doing with that there? Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> yeah, I know he's got a multi-energy deck there, but that's a, a, quite an unexpected lead there. Um... Well, that's going to automatically knock out my Rattata. So, I'm going to do my free retreat into Bulbasaur. Pop that on there. And I might as well put the other Bulbasaur out there and tackle. So, I, I'm thinking I'm going to evolve into uh, Ivysaur and then just start absorbing because I have more HP, plus it'll heal me a little bit. But yeah, that was... Uh, threw me for a loop there a little bit. Oh, whoa, 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 you don't have fire energy, I mean, uh, fighting energy, do you? Good to know. I could, I would have swore that you put out Hitmonchan because you had fighting. Or actually, come to think of it, Magmar would have been the better choice because you have fire. Because this is always like a really versatile basic Pokemon to... I guess I could consider that another AI hiccup, but... <laughs> Alright, gonna pop that on there, and Leech Seed, and call it a turn. I wonder if he'll do a switch with the Hitmonchan, probably not. Just kind of let it go and give me the prize card while he powers up fire Pokemon. The Growlithe, I guess. Uh, Hungry Snorlax, that might be worth powering up over the uh, Raticates, but I will evolve into Raticate. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the Hungry, and Leech Seed, not gonna Vine Whip. Because it's overkill at this point. <laughs> Just gonna see what happens out of this, you know? And oh man! That's a lot of power you got there! <laughs> so that's gonna do 100 damage, but he had the cost, I mean, it cost him a fire energy to do that. Hungry Snorlax, you're up next. Ooh, Defender. Uh, I wonder how much fire energy he has, just in general. Hmm. Hmm. Well, at the very least, I should probably power up Eradicate and do an Eat, because I have the double colorless energy to give him a little surprise, even if he's got fire. Oh, he's got fire. So, next turn I'll use a Defender on Hungry Snorlax to allow it to stick around for another turn, while I go ahead and roll out. There we go. So that does the 50 to Arcanine. So that'll give me another turn to eat if- oh! Interesting. Hmm... Okay, now that, that makes me wonder if I should just attack with rollout or, sh or try and go for the KO with eat and then rollout. Because he can't attack with anything unless he has two fire energy, you know? And if he goes for the takedown, which I doubt, <laughs> that would do 30 to himself, so I probably am better off going for the rollout. I'm gonna plop down on Bulbasaur anyway for the Razor Leaf in the future, and we're low. So, yeah, we're only doing 20 right now, but we'll see what he does on his turn. Pokemon Trader for something. Growlithe, they'll duel. Uh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, yeah, you don't have fire, as I expected. You see, when, 
when the opponent attaches some sort of other energy card that is not beneficial to an attack, that usually means they don't have the right energy card. Just a pro tip for you. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll put Scyther there and roll out. So, yeah, I, I didn't know if he was going to be able to attack or not. It, it, it did seem like he couldn't. He might still get... Okay, yeah. Might still get a fire energy on... Yeah, but that's okay. We did enough damage to our canine to get a knockout in retaliation. And I think it's... I'm going to put out Raticate to do just that retaliation. Because he doesn't really have... Yeah. Uh... Do I want to save this for a surprise? Or just attach it now? Because I could attach it straight to Scyther. Eh, eh. Although, maybe I should hold it in case I need it for something. So, you know, double colorless energy is pretty versatile, so... Okay, grass energy. I can attach that on the next turn. And... Oh, I got an idea what I can do with the double colorless. Super Fang the Doe Duo, and then Bite for the... Well, Professor Oak could cause me a little ire. But, uh... <laughs> if I Super Fang the Doe Duo, it'll round up to 30 instead of 25, because it can't be... A, a 5 number in the Pokemon trading card game. It's always multiples of 10 with damage, so... Anyway... So, you did your 20. I will be tempted... Uh, actually, I don't know. Because I could instead surprise him with the Scyther attack. But then again, he's got the Magmar. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Or should I trade for something? I like, go, could go for an Ivysaur sweep. Because he doesn't really have that much power in fire right now. Hmm. Very tricky situation. <laughs> Uh, I think what I will do is go like that and just bite, because chances are I'll be able to knock out the Doe Duel before he'll be able to knock out my Raticate, so we'll see if the coin flips go in probability's sake, and it looks like they are, because yeah, you're, you average 10 damage with Fury attacks, so chances are one of the next two attacks is going to do only 10 damage, so... Um, so for that, yeah, I think I will Pokemon Trader into Ivysaur if I can. <laughs> there we go, and put that on there. I already used the energy, so I might. <laughs> All right. So, oh, by the way, Super Fang would actually did as much as the. Uh, uh, oh, oh, shoot! You just get a flare, aren't you? I mean, Ember, excuse me. <laughs> yes, the original Growlithe uh, base set is... It does flares. Anyway, so we're gonna go Ivysaur as promised. Because he doesn't really have that much to go around there. So here comes the Vine Whip. To knock out the Growlithe. And hopefully I'll be able to just outright sweep him like this. Because he's running low on energy in general. So we should be in decent shape. Especially if we get energy removal. Should really should add more to this deck, but... <laughs> uh, oh, I could actually do a switch. Oh, thank you. I was gonna say, I could do a switch and then switch back with Scyther. Because I do believe Ivysaur... Oh, I thought it was a one retreat cost. I was gonna say, I could still use Vine Whip then. But I, I'll, I'll do the switch into Scyther so I can do another free switch back over to Ivysaur. And... I guess I'll give that to Scyther now. Because uh, if, if Ivysaur... It gets, you know, double damage plus poison. I'm gonna need to be able to knock out the Magmar pretty quickly, so fine, but... And that, because it'll leave it with 30 HP, basically. Yeah, we shall see how things go up. Maybe I should have gotten more basic Pokemon, you know, using the Pokemon Trader, but I don't know. Okay, so Ivysaur is at 30. So I should prop. Ooh. I should probably go like that, for one thing. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna probably should do a retreat over to Scyther just to make sure I can get the attack in. Probably. We're gonna do that. And, because that, that nullifies the smoke screen's effects and then I can take a prize card, which may be beneficial to me. Eh, sorta. I mean, 
Uh, if he's got a fire... Ooh, I was going to say, if he's got a fire energy, he could attack with Growlithe, but he, I think we ran out of fire, so... Yeah, that's kind of the problem with Ken's deck, is that it has so many different types that it doesn't really have that much focus. So when you take out one particular type of energy, it kind of locks him in into, into a sort of a stuck state where he doesn't have the right energy types that he needs. In this case, I was sucking away his fire energy for the sake of the future, and, well, you see the result. <laughs> I may actually go back over to Ivysaur to try and heal it with Absorb, because the uh, absorptions, while it would take longer to knock out stuff like the Magmar, it would be a little bit safer, I think. Probably, because then I'll have another backup attacker. So, I, mean, I think I should save that energy removal for something that has fire, you know what I mean? So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go plop out Ivysaur. And actually, do I want a Vine Whip? <laughs> Maybe I should Vine Whip, because... If I Vine Whip, that'll put it within Vine Whip range again, or Scyther range. Up switch. That's fine, I guess. I was gonna say it's. I mean, if you don't have Fire Energy, it doesn't matter what you have out. Uh, so yeah. Now this, now this would be the situation I think would be ideal to go and attack with the Absorb because it'll put it within Vine Whip range. But anyway, I'm gonna grab a Venom off. Here we go. There's my fuzzy friend, and whoops, leech seed. <laughs> Just give myself a little bit of extra HP. I mean, he could get a fire energy for Growlithe and wipe out Ivysaur, but I, I don't know. It's, it looks like he was, he's running low, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I, I'm just kind of playing to the probabilities here more than anything. Uh, uh, I'll wind with that. Because it'll take him two fire energy to get Magmar powered up then. And Pokemon Trader for what? Arcanine? Get Monchan back to the deck. Dodrio. I guess Dodrio could help a little bit. But he's kind of behind on stuff, and I only have one prize card to take. He has to switch. Oh! Yeah! He couldn't switch, could he? Because he only has one energy card and Magmar. No, wait, that he could have switched! Why didn't he evolve? Oh, Dodrio is weak too. I mean, Doduo is weak too, and Dodrio only has 60 HP. So it wouldn't have mattered. Oh, so he's. I did so much damage, I locked him in. I see. Well, <laughs> um. I probably just should guarantee the win then. Let's discard the grass. And I guess another grass to Scyther. Backslash. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know why I thought about when I should discard for my retreat cost, because I win. <laughs> so that's how he beats the fire advantage, I, I guess you could say. <laughs> I needed more energy removal, in all honesty, to have a much better chance, but that was still a pretty decent outcome there. Alright, Jack is up next with his water critters. Let's go. Well, I should say ice critters, so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> But now it's going to be a no-weakness sort of battle compared to how it was before. So we're going to just gonna play out things more normally here. Don't have to do any weakness and resistance playing around. We're just going to go straight for the victory. Hopefully. <laughs> let's see if Jack can... Okay, he's got a bill. Let's see, let's see if Jack can get some more basic Pokemon, because I think I'm going to knock out that Krabby pretty quick. Oh, Magikarp. So he's not going to power up the Krabby. He must recognize that it's going to be a futile effort. Uh, pop that on there. I wonder if I should power up for the Ivysaur. Probably should. Let's fight and get our prize card. Double color. This is nice to see. Uh, that Magic Carp is going to be probably more for the stalls. I mean, he might be able to. I mean, he might be going for the rapid evolution, but... Eh... I don't know... I don't know if that's such a good idea. I mean, it might be. <laughs> I'm gonna plop that on Bulbasaur for the Razor Leaf, but see, the thing about that rapid evolution is that when... When he evolved with the Gyarados... 
Um, it's gonna take double damage to grass, which I have. Bulbasaur is gonna dish out 60. So, yeah! <laughs> just saying. Just saying. I don't know if he's gonna go for the rapid evolution or anything like that. So, oh, he's not. Okay, so he's just gonna go for the flop. He must have been thinking about rapid evolutioning because he put the water energy on it. The, you know, two water energy, but he's like, nope, I give up. The, the math is not in my favor. Uh, put that on Venonat. And nibble that magic curp. Alright, so now Lapras is gonna be the probably the biggest staller here. Oh no, he's got another staller. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Uh, it, they both of them take a decent amount of energy to really get powered up, powered up, you know what I mean? So, should be okay. As a matter of fact, I might just super fang that Lapras with double colorless. As a matter of fact, uh, they go, we'll do that. <laughs> the super fang cuts the HP in half, rounds up, remember? Remember? Yep. So that'll do a little bit more damage. Actually, it'll accelerate the turns by one, come to think of it. So it's got 30 off that, that's all right. We have pretty much anything we could put out that's, it'll be just fine, but except Rattata, uh, I don't know if I should just go with the Venonat, because I can stun Spore, probably. Oh yeah, <laughs> that I think might have been the wise move, well maybe, I don't know, maybe not. Because I still, I could have knocked out Lapras outright, but still, uh, it's, I, I mean, that, that I was going by what I was, you know, I, what I had knowledge of, basically. I don't know what I'm going to draw, after all. Alright, Sunspore, as promised. I could have switched over to the, uh, um, Ivysaur and knocked out Lapras, but, eh, eh, I don't know. Ooh, Quick Freeze. That's, uh, yeah, that could be a thing. <laughs> Oh, it worked. Unless I evolve into Venomoth, which would kind of null his plan there, but... Oops, scoop up. Pulling back to put it back into play later on, so he could cause paralysis later on again, as per the nature of the Grandmaster's Articuno. Now, if I was playing against Steve and his Zapdos, I'd be like, Go ahead, and, go ahead and scoop up. I'll, you could you do that. <laughs> um... Hmm, who do I want to plop out, though? I probably want to get a Venomoth going, so I should probably Pokemon Trader the Bulbasaur into... Assuming it's here, there it is. Now, usually if you have two two cards at... Oh, that's right, I just put it into play. Well, whatever. But yeah, if you have two cards in your deck, chances are one of them is going to at least be in your deck and not in your prize cards. And... Yeah, it seems kind of pointless to use Defender, so just call it a turn. Because he's going to be able to knock out the Venonat anyway. Why is he putting so much HP on Lapras anyway? It only, it only needs 3 HP to... never mind, it's AI. <laughs> Maybe it's just a case of energy removal or something like that. Alright, so Ivysaur is up next, of course. And Chansey goes into play. Venomoth. Chansey is always a nice staller of the bunch. I'll save the double colorless because I don't want to waste such a turn accelerating card basically by discarding it with Professor Oak, so I like to plop it on something uh, if possible. And he's gonna go for the quick freeze, of course. Remember, that's why you put it back in his hand in case something was threatening. Didn't work that time, but it's just possible that it could work. And just like it could be possible that Sing would work. And, you know, since it's Sing is a coin flip to actually activate, and I could wake up between turns, it's actually a 25% chance that anything Sing later will actually turn out. Oh man, I just got Venusaur. Oh man! <laughs> um, that could very well be game over. Uh, I probably should just right away pop that on there, and I don't know if I want to energy removal anything, because I don't think they're that big of a threat, except maybe Lapras, but chance, uh, I think I'll actually energy removal that Lapras, because I don't want my Venusaur to be confused, so, alright, Solar Beam, Woo! 
two attacks from a solar beam will knock out anything, so... Well, unless Defender or some other special effect will happen, but energy removal on Venusaur, I can just transfer that from a Venomoth if need be. Plus, as you know, I got Professor Oak, so that's still not that big of a deal. And will I wake up? Oh, wow! A 25% chance actually happened. So I can't even transfer energy, but what I can do is set things up in the meantime. Uh, I guess... I'll put the fender on there, just just for the sake of putting it on there. <laughs> I don't really think it's that important to do so, but I might as well. And uh, I already used the energy, so... Uh, I could switch to Scyther and then back to Venusaur and then transfer an energy. I think that's what I'll do. Do that, treat... Venusaur... Pokemon Power Energy Transfer. Oops, Pokemon Power Energy Transfer. One on. Oops, nope. One onto the Venusaur. There we go. And attack with the Solar Beam to finish off the Chansey. That's a sneaky little speedrun tactic. <laughs> now that Articuno here requires three energy to do anything, so I'll be able to wipe that out relatively quick. Well, I mean, it can retreat with two, but. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be too big of a deal. I have the Ivysaur, so I'm going to start powering that up on the side, and Solar Beam. No need for plus power here, because it's not going to make a difference in the amount of turns it takes to knock out that Articuno. So, you might just go for a scoop up, though, on... Um, or not. <laughs> on uh, something that's being threatened with a knockout. But... Alright, so there is another prize card, and he's not looking happy. <laughs> And well, that's confusion. Oh boy. Oh man. Oh jeez. That could be the end of me. Actually, I'm, I'm not so sure about that. I will. Ooh, um. I was gonna say, if he has something low on HP, I could just potentially knock it out with the. Hmm. Should I just go for the solar beam anyway? Probably should. If I get a head, that'd be pretty nice, but. Tails wouldn't be the end of the world, which I got, because it's still only 20 damage. I'm mainly looking to knock down his Pokémon's HP as quickly as possible at this point. So, as long as I don't keep getting Tails, chances are I'll be able to get one Solar Beam in there. And... Let me say we do a sneaky sneak here, because he doesn't appear to have energy cards. Uh, and yeah, I have a Rattata. Get that up and running. And come on heads this time, thank you very much! Woo! Oh, and I uh, was right about confusion damage being increased to 30 in later uh, rule iterations of the game. So yeah, <laughs> I looked that up ahead of time. Um, and not in this time, it's, it's still in the 20 range. I think they upped to the 30 because of the power creep and everything getting a lot more HP than they did at this moment in time. Just to kind of balance things out a little bit. Anyway, Venomoth, <laughs> I know I was kind of stalling there, but I knew what I was putting it on. I was kind of fiddling with the cursor. And yeah, let's see, at this point, as I said, it, if, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't have a way to switch my Venusaur to guarantee a knockout. I mean, I could try to, to coin flip retreat, but then I might as well just attack anyway, because it's still a coin flip to attack, you know? Uh, anyway, put that on Venomoth, and give me heads. Thank you! So that is victory! Woo! And that's five wins in a row! Woohoo! Match five. Match number five. Defeated, Jack! Congratulations, you defeated all five opponents! Thank you. Thank you, thank you, only 45 more to go! <laughs> With these 5 wins, Min's current clear streak is now won. Please come back and challenge again soon. Alright, what the <laughs> But in any case, I'm gonna think if I wanna keep playing this on camera or not. I'm not so sure about that, because you, you get the idea of how it is now, and it's all randomized opponents anyway, so, yeah. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I've hopefully decided on what I want to do. <laughs>